Hey yo guys, what's good, what's happening, and what's going on? Just another day in the bay. She looks like a beauty day, right? We got like 40 kilometer an hour winds out there. Holy crap. It's gonna go fishing today, but it's like 10 degrees Celsius out, which is like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It's too freaking cold for fish. They're not gonna bite in this shit. Right, campers? Right? Oh, you're just happy because you're getting a pet. You're just so happy. You're just so happy. Just such a happy little meow face. Who's a happy mouthfish? Who's a happy mouthfish? Yeah, I totally was gonna go fishing today, but not in these winds. Forget that. So I'm trying to find something to do with myself because I have no idea what to do with myself. Another problem. Oh, Jesus. Cat just jumped off the window ledge and almost hooked my line for my lapel. I should probably just stop using the lapel and just hook the mic on my chest and use the internal mic. But I find the lapel gives a cleaner signal. See what I mean? Like right now I got it hooked on my chest and I'm just talking and that's what it sounds like, okay? It's not as clean as it is when you plug in the lapel mic. The lapel mic is now plugged in, it's hooked up, you can tell. And it just, I find the lapel mic just gives a bit more dynamics. I could be wrong on that. You, you be the judge, you let me know. But it would be nice to not have any cables on my bidet. Anyway, uh, one of the problems I've been having this week is, uh, you guys remember back in 2018 when I first started my weight loss journey? and succeeded and then kind of reversed it all and got fat well anyway back then i bought this thing called a fitbit yeah a fitbit the versa one or just the versa if you like i love this thing man it looks like an apple watch it tells time it's got a bunch of features in it for working out it's got some built-in extra accessories for uh doing like meditations and stuff i have yet to use because I can't get my brain to shut up long enough to meditate. However, I bought that in 2018. It's currently 2022. And it's not that the watch is garbage. The watch is still great. It's just the battery does not hold the charge. Sorry, I was grabbing the dog's food bowl. I gotta, I've got been feeding him wet food and he pushes his food bowl around the kitchen. I've been finding it in weird locations because you literally lick that thing back to stainless. It's hilarious. I'm gonna need to find, well, I looked up how to replace the battery in the Fitbit Versa, and honestly, the headache is not worth it. Right now they got the Sense, which is the new Fitbit. Normally it goes for 400 bucks. Right now it's on sale for 250. And I told myself, because I have, I put money aside for the new Fitbit when it comes on sale again, and it's on sale right now. And I was like, all right, so I'm thinking about getting it replaced because this thing here, okay, it charges up to 100%, it reads 100%, and then you're wearing it. Like I'll put in a workout for like an hour, an hour and a half in workout mode. It will drop from 100% down to 75%. A quarter of its power is gone. It never used to do that. I used to be able to work out for 90 minutes to two hours and it might drop 6%, okay? Because when you have it in workout mode, it's always pulling data. It's real-time heart checking to get your... Right now, this thing here doesn't check my heart rate all the time. It checks it once every five seconds where when you're in workout mode, it literally checks it twice a second and it gives you real-time telemetry on your heart condition, on your pulse. So if you're doing something like I'm going to be doing, I've been doing all week and I'm going to keep doing keto where you're not burning or you're not taking in carbohydrates rates to have a lot of glucose in your body. You want to keep your heart rate in the fat burn zone because if you get into the cardio zone and you don't have the sugars needed to run, like to really stress yourself out, it can be catabolic because your body's going to need sugars and the first place it's going to go is pull it out of the muscles, pull the uh, glucagon from your muscles to burn that for energy. And you kind of don't want to do that if you're looking to burn fat and stay, you know what I mean? Like you want to be muscular, but you don't want to eat carbohydrates because you're an easy gainer like me. And you walk by somebody who opens up a bag of McDonald's and you put on five pounds. So I love having this Fitbit on me. I can keep an eye on my heart rate. So if I'm doing like some, I don't know if they're called, I think they're called complexes or I don't know what they're, supersets. That's the word I'm looking for, supersets. Where you're going from like a back row into something else. Or like when I do my, my, ch my bench press, I'll do bench press and then I'll get up and I'll go over and grab the dumbbells and do side lateral raises and then pause for 45, sit back down, bench press, and then go over and do side laterals. Um, no, I do side laterals and rears. I haven't been targeting my rear shoulders and it shows. So I've been really hammering on the rear shoulders to try and build that development because I don't want to be one of those guys that I see in the gym with like boulder shoulders in the front that it just kind of falls off the back like a cliff. But you want to keep your heart rate in the fat burn zone. What that means is you're putting enough stress on your body where it's got to work harder to produce energy but not hard enough where it needs sugar it can run on ketones and because that's what i want to make my fuel source again which it was back in 2018 2019 until everything went to shit and i started eating stupid foods and you know you know how it is uh i want to get back on that track where literally food is fuel and go from there now 
Uh, I did mention in the previous vlog that Sunday's videos are going to be like a fun meal prep thing, but I'm thinking that's not going to be the case this Sunday because I'm thinking I want to go, go into a fast. Right now I weighed in this morning, I'm 250 pounds, so I want to bring that number down. So what we're going to do this week is we're going to go into a full-fledged fast. That's when I'm going to do it. So we're going to see how much weight we can drop, but that's not going to be a video. That's just going to be me losing weight because I'm sick and tired of looking at myself in these videos when the angle shows my gut and I look like I'm pregnant. And it's kind of funny. Yesterday at work, I uh, I got called into an office to help fix a bunch of problems. And when I was done, the uh, manager comes over with a bag of chocolate Easter bunnies. Like, and not, I'm not talking about little, little... I'm talking like like the full size Easter bunny is wrapped in tinfoil, and she was like, "Oh man, you're you're such a lifesaver! Like here, have a have a chocolate bunny." And I'm like, "Oh no, so, thanks, but no thanks. I I can't eat that. I don't eat sugar." And she's like, "Really?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sugar's the reason why I got pregnant." She's like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, with this food baby." And she just burst it out laughing. I know donuts are my kryptonite. I know Doritos are my kryptonite. If they made Dorito donuts, I'd probably be a diabetic again. So and that's the other thing is back in 2018, I was diagnosed with type two diabetes, I'm not diagnosed with it, onset diagnosed or diagnosed with onset diabetes. And the doctor wanted to get me on metformin, which is a pill that will prevent. Yeah, I think it prevents the production of insulin in your body, which is great for weight loss, right? Because insulin is the hormone that not only breaks down carbohydrates into glucose, it also tells your body, hey, it's time to store fat. Your body can't produce insulin, and that's what a type 2 diabetic is, is their body produces insulin, their autoimmune or their, their immune system kicks in thinking it's a foreign object and goes and fights the insulin, and the insulin can never do its job. So now you've got these free radical sugar molecules running through your body causing all sorts of problems like uh, you probably heard type 2 diabetes people who let it go on too long have to like amputate toes and stuff well this is the reason why so i don't want to become that guy again i don't want that problem so i really 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 need to trim some fat like really need to trim some fat now you're probably saying adam just jump on the bike and go for a rip and uh tempted but i'm not gonna i'm not about to do that and plus freaking 30 kilometer an hour northern winds because number one it's freaking cold outside number two 40 kilometer an hour winds on a fat bike does not sound pleasing to me we're gonna hard pass on that today i am thinking about grabbing bender and finishing off the work i did outside with the um i mean might even just grab my hedge trimmer and go out there uh, the um the new ryobi there the uh brush cutter and just start whacking down a bunch of shit and then we'll send the mower through it and take it all out because uh, it was working, it was working good. Not with the brush cutter attachment, I gotta figure that thing out. But with the uh, the rope on it, it was it was cutting pretty damn good. I do say so myself. So we might get out there and do that today. Um, like I said, I'm thinking about going to Best Buy right now. They got the Fitbit Sense on for 250, and the Sense has a lot of cool features like Google Assistant. It also has Alexa because, well, Fitbit signed a deal with Amazon prior that to Google acquiring them and because Google acquired them they had to honor the license with Amazon to still offer the Alexa app on it so it has both Alexa and Google so that's pretty sweet so now I can be like Michael Knight and Knight Rider and talk to my watch and make my house do stuff I guess we can call my house kit I don't care do whatever the hell you want that's uh probably going to be what I'm going to do today we're going to head over to Best Buy right meow go scoop up the Fitbit Sense and then come back here, put it on a charge, and maybe grab the weed whacker and finish off the damage I did on the other side of the house. Also, the shit over there is starting to grow back, so I may grab the Ryobi and pass her through there. Or I may grab Bender. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Might even grab the gasser, because I really don't care what happens to that thing. And we'll just send that pig through there and see what happens. Why not, right? Might as well beat the living shit out of it. So yeah, let me go and show you the damage that was done and how it turned out. Like, you can see over here. Actually, we'll come over here first. With all that rain we got over the past couple days, this piss is making a comeback. I wanted to do a campfire tonight, but not with these winds, it's illegal. But like, all these weeds are trying to make a comeback, and it needs to stop. Oh, my gate blew down. I'll have to pick that back up and figure a way how to make it stay. Yeah, all these uh, weeds here are trying to make a comeback. So, we'll have to deal with that. I should get Bender out and just try and trim all this shit back and see if I can get back to the fence. I know there's a metal fence back here, though. That's one of my concerns. Um, you can maybe see it in there between the trees, like a little wire, maybe 20, 18 gauge chicken wire fence. So get all this shit cleared out of the way, chuck it back over there with the rest of the shit, and then 
We should be good. You guys can probably hear the wind blowing right now. Like the trees are moving pretty good. But yeah, let's go check out over here. I'll show you the damage that was done. It's uh, not too bad. I should have weed whacked around here too when I had the Ryobi out. I can get to that later. But yeah, this uh, this died pretty good. This is all dry shit. I could use this as tinder to start the fire. Grab a handful of this, toss it in the bottom, light it, start stacking some kindling on it, go from there. So I wanna clear all this out and then get into here and clear all this shit out because uh, that overgrowth is annoying. Just knock it all down and then just keep on it. I think if I keep mowing it, gradually it will die. I don't think I need to resort to chemical warfare, but you know, if I do, I have the chems. I got that shitty Roundup. I got some dish soap. I got some vinegar. I got some borax from Canadian Tire. Push comes a shove. I'll just shove back. And yes, I do need to buy a battery for Dirty Bird still. I haven't gotten around to it. Problem is, I can't find the battery that's in there. Um, damn, what the hell happened here? Freaking paint's getting all scratched shit. Piss me off. I need to wash this car. I would do that too today, but I should wash the vehicles today. It's freaking cold out though. Jesus Murphy, it's like nearing the end of June and it's freezing my tits off. But yeah, I haven't been able to find a battery for Dirty Bird because the one I have in there now has both top post and front post. And I do like the top post for when I need to boost the battery because I honestly have no idea how to boost a side post battery because trying to get the pinchers on a side post is really not easy. I'm sure somebody in the audience, you have a solution for that. And if you do, let me know down below. Let's go to Best Buy and buy a new watch. All right, guys, we are back and we have the watch. I also walked around Best Buy to see what products they have because I honestly haven't been in there since the last time I was in there. And the last time I was in there, I never checked anything out. I can't even remember. Oh, when I bought the DJI drone. That I don't fly very much because I keep forgetting I own a DJI drone. There's been a couple comments. People like, Adam, when are you going to fly your drone again? And well, today's not going to be that day because 40 kilometer an hour winds means drone go bye-bye especially one that small. So not gonna be today, that's for sure. Definitely not gonna be tomorrow because it's still gonna be heavy winds tomorrow. What the hell am I hearing? I have something behind my seat that is rocking back and forth heavily and I don't know what it is. It's like there's something with water in it. Probably my coffee pot, I bet. Well, I gotta clean out the back of this truck, reorganize it or something. But yeah, we got the Fitbit. And then uh, I was just browsing through the aisles in the computer section because I wanted to see what was there and Turns out they sell what I want, a USB-C docking station, because the new uh, Dell laptop there, the uh, Inspiron 55, whatever the frig it is, the Ryzen 5700. I haven't been using it too much. I was using it when I was working from home as a computer to sit at my desk and do testing with off the network. But like, other than that, I don't really use it too much because I edit from the, uh, the Ryzen, the 1600. And that one there was literally to be used for like mobile editing because I thought that was going to become a thing. And I was just told by the uh, the group that the Pound Abbey episodes are going to be on hiatus until uh, fall because they're busy with pride stuff. So they don't have time to do any sort of anything with Pound Abbey. So that's going to be a stalemate till fall. And I was thinking about um, setting up the lap, the, the um, the laptop on the desk where I had my work laptop. And then if for some reason things ramp up with COVID in the fall and they freak out and make us go into lockdown again, well, all I need to do is bring home my work laptop and plug it in to the docking station. And theoretically it should work fine. I shouldn't need to bring my dock home from work, which would be pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, they have some USB-C docking stations right there in their store. A little bit expensive. I think they can you can get them cheaper on Amazon. But what I like about Best Buy is if I buy it there for a couple bucks more and for some reason it just doesn't doesn't cut it, doesn't meet the uh, the needs, doesn't work with my laptop or whatever the case may be, I can bring it back within 30 days and get a full refund. Where with Amazon, it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass to get a refund. You got to pay to ship the product back and blah, 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 all this nonsense never had to do it i know a couple people who have and they said it was almost not worth it i got friends who are boycotting amazon for that reason that they got stuff that was just complete shit had to return it and went through hell it's probably different in the usa but up here in canada it can be a bit of a chore to send it back apparently so i've been told or the best buy I just walk in with the receipt and go yeah it doesn't work and then they just refund my card and then i'm, I'm good to go or if I pay with cash, they give me cash back. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go and put this thing on a charge. I still have my Fitbit on me. I hope one of my stats for today carry over to the new one, but if they don't, they don't. 
They should though, the moment I sync it up. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, I was looking at some stuff and I was like, they have motherboards and processors in there and they had the uh, Ryzen 5600 and a motherboard, but like the motherboard was, it's an MSI Tomahawk, not a bad motherboard. 259, it's a 57, uh, 570. So it supports SLI and has a lot better chipset than the uh, B350 I have now. And the 5600 would make it for a good gaming uh, board, but I'm like, I don't play video games in the summer. It's too freaking hot to sit in there. Well, it's not today. Today it's freaking brutal out, but actually it's only 17 Celsius out right now. Oh man, I just want to go fishing so bad. <laughs> I've only fished once this week and it's like, I got the itch boys. I got the itch. I got the itch to fish. Kind of want to just go out there and send it. Ah, we'll see what we do. Right now I got to go home and put a charge on this camera and then, uh, I don't know. We'll see what we do. I might grab the friggin' weed whacker and go and attack those weeds. I don't know. We will see what we do. All right. Talk to you guys in a bit. Gonna be honest, not sure if that last clip actually recorded any audio. I guess we'll find out when we review the footage, but uh, got the Fitbit sense right here. I bought it in silver. I could have got it in black, but this one here is in silver, so I figured I'd just stick with the same and that way there, you know, nothing really changes. Anyway, I'm going to let the dog out real quick. We'll head upstairs. We'll unbox the scents. If the dog will get out of my way so I can put this here on the cupboard. And we'll take it from there. Alrighty guys, we're upstairs. Look, you can tell. I already accidentally broke the seal off, so that makes this unboxing really easy. So the Fitbit Sense. On wrist stress tracking with EDA sensor. High and low heart rate notifications. Sleep tracking and sleep score. Pace and distance with built-in GPS. Oh, that's cool. Get calls, texts, and apps notifications. So you just unsleeve it. I was gonna, I thought I had to peel the top off the box and then I saw the seal and I was like, oh, that looks pretty easy to pop. Oh, already opened it, whoops. And this box is just a flip over. I have it upside down. So we flip it open and there's the pretty watch. Please tell me it comes with a charger. It does. Is it the same charger? I'm curious about that. I'm so curious. Oh, that's, it's like they talk to Apple about their packaging. Like literally this thing just slides right in there. Well, it did, but now I can't get it back. So that's fine. Download the app, already did. Charge to 100%. We'll do. Sync with app, we'll do. Any questions, call that number. Cool. And then the watch is in here, pops out. Like it literally was just press fitted in there. Little Fitbit thing underneath. And then on this side here, you get an extra watch band, which is also rubber. Crap. I was really hoping for a cloth band. I hate rubber bands, but like everything, we'll adapt. We'll get used to it. So here is a Z watch. Well, this one doesn't have a single button on it. Okay, one time. That's going to be weird. Oh, it's already powering up. It's already powering up. It's got quite the sensor on the back. Let me see if I can declip this band and show you. It's got a speaker. Of course, it's got a speaker. It's got Google built in. Wow, that's a nice screen. But there's the Fitbit there. It's got a speaker on the side and a mic. Uh, I don't know what that is on the side. It's got some button. Oh, it does have buttons. Are those buttons? Okay, I'm going to put a charge on this thing, but it's got a real nice bright screen on it. So that's pretty dope. I'm going to go ahead and put a charge to this thing. I can figure out how. Pull to open. Oh, so satisfying, except for the fact that it broke halfway down. Come on, Fitbit. Charge $400 for this watch. Even though I got it on sale, charge $400 on this watch. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Well, that's way different than my other charger. My other charger clipped and pulled it down into the contacts. This one here, I'm thinking, is magnetic. Totally magnetic. Just take it, bring it over to your watch, and shaboosh. Done. Well, that's pretty sweet. Do I have a spare USB port over here I can borrow to plug this thing into and charge it? All right. Is this thing charging, or what's the deal here? doesn't show that it's charging. Well, I already have the Fitbit app. Maybe I'll pair it up right now and see what happens. Oh, frig sakes. Uh, sense. Okay, sense is near the phone. It found it. It's connecting to it. Enter pairing code. It's pairing. It's paired. Oh, now it wants to connect to Wi-Fi. All right, guys, I'm going to set this thing up and uh, we'll let it charge. And once she's fully charged, we'll uh, take it from there. All right, you guys, got you on the chest mount because uh, we're going to go outside and play with the Weed Whacker. Got the new Fitbit on here. I installed the same watch face that I had before. If I can get the thing to turn on. Still the same watch face I had before on the other Fitbit because uh, I found out the oxygen sensor on it. All it does is it measures your oxygen when you sleep, not in real time. So it's kind of stupid, but I guess it would just kill the battery if it did it all the time. So that's fine. It's got the Google Assistant. It's got some other features. I got a rocket piss. I'll be right back. I figure what we can do today is we'll grab the... Uh, 
the new Ryobi, the 440 volt, which is right here with the string trimmer attachment, which is already on it. And we'll go and attack that, that brush. So I'll just grab the four amp hour battery here, jam this on the back. I was gonna make some more lures today with uh, and do a lot of the remelt of the old sprues and that, but I don't need to do that on camera because, well, nobody cares to watch that. And tonight I wanna put my new Bowden tube on and try, um, try 3D printing some uh, more soft plastic injection molds. Let's see what we can do over here. Oh, no wonder why it's not doing anything. I got no line showing. That would do it. How the hell do you make line come out of this thing again? Let's try this one more time. You know what? I'm grabbing Bender. This thing works, but... Bender will just get in there and annihilate it. Friggin' chipmunk. He's in my wood pile. I'm just gonna do along the side of the house here. I thought this wire would be a little bit more durable, but turns out I thought wrong. Oh, crap. Well, that sucks. There we go. Am I bleeding? I think we're good. Yeah, like all this shit's coming back in. Yeah, let's grab Bender. But that's all trimmed up again. Yeah, this uh, copper cord wire is good, but definitely has no brush cutter. Figured I might as well do this while I'm here. There, that's a little cleaner. I'll just do along over here a little bit and we'll put this away and grab Bender. Bender will make the job easier. Remember, after you're done, always take off your battery because they will parasitically draw just sitting there doing nothing. I gotta build mounts for those. Gonna have to play in CAD tonight. So the chargers, this one down here is a slow charger, that's a rapid charger. I found that out the hard way. The hard way with me reading stuff. How much power does this battery have in it? Three bars, cool. So I grab Bender here. This thing here, I found the carb on Amazon. It's like 12 bucks. I found a rebuild kit for the carb on Amazon. It was 11 bucks. You know what? For an extra dollar, why do the work myself, right? Why do the work myself? Mind you, the carb is from China, but chances are so is that engine, so. Here's hope Bender's still working after the beatdown I put on it. See, the nice thing about using Bender is number one, it'll chop the shit down. And number two, it'll shred it up same time. So that's nice. That would probably be okay for a bit. If we need the other one, we got the green one in that. We can always tie onto it. Grab Bender, take them back there, go hammer those friggin' weeds. I got like one wheel, it's all jank, it's like knocking around and stuff. <sighs> I'd fix it, but honestly, who cares? So I had a couple friends go out on the lake today. Both of them told me the exact same story. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. So I was doing this wrong, guys. This thing, take your cable, you pinch it, put it through, hook and hook and then it won't go anywhere you can plug in your mower 
This thing's polarized. Watch this. Loose again. Well, Bender might be dead. We're gonna have to uh, tighten up that bolt underneath. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> disconnect this wire that we just tied on. Take her back in the garage and see if we can fix it so we can break it again. Let's get this thing in the garage, get her up, figure out what we broke. Then one of you guys say use that hammer thing with uh, the hammer drill with an impact socket. I might try my other method, what I did last time. Let's grab nut busters go. That's the problem is the uh, blade is loosening off and then it's, this is spinning but the blade's not going anywhere. Also doesn't help that I got a stick jammed in there. I have an impact wrench, but the problem is, is it's half inch drive. And I don't think I have metric bits for it. I think all the bits that it came with are friggin' massive. Like this, 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 these are the bits here that it came with like 11 sixteenths. It's probably my smallest option. And I heard you're not supposed to use these chrome ones on it. That's way too freaking big. That's not. I don't even know why I tried that right now. Forget it, bud. Back to the drawing board. Bender dead. Well, not dead. It's just, you know, poor guy's seen better days. That's not tightening up anymore. I didn't drop a washer or something on the ground, did I? Probably could use washers to stabilize it. Yeah, that blade is super loose. I think that's what's happening is the motor's spinning, but the blade isn't holding on. Huh. How can I fix this? I could put another washer under the bolt, and it would force the bolt to hold on tighter. Or I could say screw it and send it back out there and see what happens. Let's go with plan B. Worst case, I'll put the brush cutter on the Ryobi and we'll see if we can do some damage with that. And if not, well, I'll have to find another garage crushed lawnmower to play with. No, I'll figure out this thing. Can't be that hard. It works, it's just it doesn't work. Let's just plug it in and see if it spins. I'm thinking this might be a double team mission. We use the Ryobi to knock down the big stuff. I'm gonna put the brush cutter on it. And then we'll send Bender to knock the small stuff down. I know, I remember when I first started that project with them, with Bender, a lot of you were like, open the front end so the blade can connect. The problem with that idea is you can't do that. See you know the cool power attachments you can get for this? You can get a tiller for this thing. So if you wanted to till, like if I don't get that shitty tiller up and running, I can get a tiller attachment for this and just drag it along, sap some batteries. Ah, oh, shit. You go on like this. All right. I know I just put you on the charger, bud, but I need you back. Let's go murder some stuff. Should sharpen this thing up. Put like a knife edge on it. So just choose through all the woods.
Now I need like a rake or something to pull all that shit out. You know what? That's not a bad idea. I'm just going to set that on the ground and go get a rake. Yay, gardening's fun. Stupid chipmunk. So what I can do is get this out in the middle of the lawn and then turn it into plant food with the lawnmower. Because once it's trying to make a recovery, I can just roll over with the Ryobi and be done with it. Yeah, there was a comment on my video about the electric stuff. People saying that they work and they're constantly fixing those things. And, you know, I paid like 200 bucks for that with the battery. It's got a three-year Ryobi warranty on it. If it breaks in three years or after three years, you know what? It's earned its life. I'll get another one. But if it breaks before then... I'll get another one on their dime because warranties are fun and Ryobi's warranty is freaking fantastic. I can't believe that they just had me do a basic test on the battery and then said, okay, we're going to send you free batteries. Like they didn't even, didn't even fight me on it. This is where I should grab the wood chipper and just send it. That's not going to be easy to pick up with Bender. I'm going to try though. I'm going to try right now. Of course, I'm aiming the chute back there. Probably going to run over my extension cord. a hell of a lot better. Hope I didn't do that with my friggin... No, that was always broken. Of course, now the wire's right in your way. Bloody hell. Can't win with these damn Gro GoPros, man. Just can't win. This is where the weed whacker attachment will come in handy, I bet. Just gonna grab that rake and pull shit out. And then we'll uh, we grab Bender and chop it all up again. Allergies are starting to act up. Oh, there's vines over here. And there's a big dirty thistle right there. <coughs> oh, I need a drink of water. This is ridiculous. Should go take an antihistamine too. All right, we're all hooked up. Should turn on. Get enough good stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna grab the rake and pull that shit away from the wall. And then we'll get in there with the brush cutter and knock out some more. freaking vines up the wall. The neighbors obviously didn't mind. So they would have done something about it. Well, 
Well, to be fair, this retaining wall is on my property. See, my buddy's dad has the version of this, it's gas. Don't know how big the motor is on it, but he's got like a skill saw blade on the end of his and it just kills. See, I don't know if they like that, all the vines on their shed. But their shingles are in worse shape than the ones in my garage, so maybe they do. Did I ever tell you guys I enjoy doing this kind of work? My buddy at work, he does IT by day and lawn care by afternoon. And I told him, like, if you ever need a hand, let me know. I'll go cut some lawns with you. Give me a couple bucks. I don't mind making some extra cash on the side. I love mowing the lawn now. Now that I can do it without getting a sore back, even though I put on a lot of weight, that problem never came back, which is nice. But then again, I question how much of that weight is actually muscle from lifting. I know I put on some belly fat, but that's the first spot that fat goes. Hear that? Somebody just fired up a lawnmower. Why? They heard me doing yard work. I'm telling you guys, one neighbor fires up a lawnmower. Everybody fires up a lawnmower. See, this one here in the lawnmower, when you stall it out by putting too much shit in it, it, it the battery shuts off. My buddy has the Ergo. He has the Ergo lawn care system with the... Uh, Lawnmower, weed whacker, leaf blower, the whole kit and caboodle. And his, oh, that's one bricks. His, when he screws up and he hits something heavy, instead of disengaging the battery, he ejects the battery. Which is really neat in the weed whacker because the battery literally just falls to the ground. If you have it on the right angle, it doesn't. I swear those vine systems are all underneath this yard. Because if you remember in 2019, or 18 when I did over there, holy crap, I was pulling those things out of the ground like crazy. I found out that it was the previous owners of the house next door who built this retaining wall. Because before, the yard sloped into here. So they ended up raising the one side and then they put the wall to hold it all in place but the problem is, is they didn't put the wall in their lot they put it on mine so when it comes time to put a fence up back here I'm trying to decide if I want to put the fence on the retaining wall and then block it in go six feet here six well there's a fence back there there's a fence over there I just need to fence this off over there in the front of the house and then I'll have a secure backyard where Oreo can come out off leash I don't have to worry about him getting away as long as he doesn't go underneath the uh, the cedars here because that fence he can get through gotta be careful talking about how much I like cleaning lawns and stuff dad's gonna have me go over there with the Ryeview where I'll be and do his yard and I'll be like oh you like doing you like mowing lawns oh well come on over Mom will make you a sandwich. You know what? That's good enough. Cleans off that wall. I can see it now. Just killed this last vine. Unless it's already dead. I might have hit it and it's just hanging on. Yeah, it's just hanging on. Retaining wall has been retained. And the peasants rejoice. Still gotta fix this. Haven't gotten around to it. Thinking about grinding a channel in there and then filling it with weld it might hold maybe next up I need dad to come over and give me a hand there's a birch tree back here and it's hard to tell but you can see it looks like it's growing into my garage 
it's got to come down, but I need his help. I also need to get a battery for this car so I can back it out. So we can follow the tree here and then I can delimit and deal with it. The battery that's in there is pretty much tomato soup. I'm pretty sure you guys are right about that dead short by you guys as a buddy of mine who messaged me and said, you've killed the battery so many times, it probably has a dead short. And he's more than likely right because the battery froze to death many winters. Alrighty guys, well it's friggin' midnight o'clock. I know that's not a real time, but it is in my head because my head's pretty broken. So. I think it's time I shut this vlog down because I haven't really done much since I mowed the lawn. Decided to not fast today. Decided to eat a meal because my body was in so much friggin' pain from the workout yesterday. I needed some protein, so I had some. Sue me. Anywho, so I had to rock piss. However, um, I need to go to the garage because uh, you remember when I talked about always taking your Ryobi battery off your Ryobi device and putting it not on the device? because the battery will drain. Well, I'm 99% sure after editing my footage, I didn't quite do that. The weather has calmed down so much right now and there's totally something in there. Totally something in there. I just saw the leaves move for no reason whatsoever. It's probably a battle toad because they do that. The one weekend we were having a fire and sure enough, there was like frogs all around the fire pit, like going underneath the, uh, the fire pit. A Ryobi device is over here and yep, I'm stupid. Totally left her on there, bud. That's not good for the battery. She will drain. I'm gonna pull that now. But yeah, uh, freaking having a fire. There's toads coming out of nowhere like growing underneath the fire pit just to warm up. Crazy bastards. I was gonna come out here tonight and fix this thing. Probably gonna do that tomorrow. I still don't know where my Dremel kit is. I have no idea where the hell I put it. I have a Dremel kit that has a bunch of bits in it which would be perfect for grinding out those little channels right there. Just tiny little channels need to be grinded out. I could use my angle grinder, but that's a bit excessive for what I want to do. Like it's not up here. What did I step on a piece of foam? So it's not in here, is it? I should grab my sawzall. It's not in here. I don't see it in here. Got a friggin' eight horse here, another five horse here. If I was better at construction, I'd build something for the winter to get out on the ice, but I suck at that kind. So don't expect that ever to happen. Let's just get rid of these damn engines. Save up some space in there. What about in here? Do I have anything in here? No, it's an electric something or other and a bunch of crap. I have no idea where the hell that freaking Dremel kit went. I bought a job made Dremel kit from Canadian Tire. They're on sale for like probably 20 bucks or something. And I have no idea where the hell I put it. Is it in here? I need to go through this. I got some tractor tires down there. One of these days I'm gonna make a video where I go through all these cabinets and we'll see what the hell's in there. Those look like CD cases. Got a freaking light in there. Bunch of crap. It's a Mastercraft thing in there. Who knows what's in that? I also need to bag and tag these guys here and we gotta get down to the lake and test them out. Just to make sure they freaking work, you know fish eats them. Can't see why they wouldn't. They ate that really shitty worm I made. But um, <coughs> yeah, didn't really uh, do everything I wanted to do today because I wanted to take a lot of this remelt, remelt it down and shoot a bunch of more molds. Might do that tomorrow, but I'm not going to film it because I already made a video doing that. And I don't think you guys care about me making baits or fishing. I'll show, I'll film the fishing, but I'm only going to put the parts in the videos where I catch a fish because who wants to watch some nerd on the friggin' beach casting for 10,000 times and not catch anything. And you know, you know what else I need to really do? I got this stupid piece of junk from Amazon. The Sugaling friggin' telescopic. Yeah, we need to send this out and snap it in half. See if she can take the abuse because it's supposed to be a triple, a triple core carbon fiber rod. Triple the performance of the single core carbon fiber rod that broke. Blah, 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 was a, was a bling bling. So I think we need to take that piece of crap out and let her rip tater chip. So what we might do is hopefully it's not so windy tomorrow. Right now the wind is like gone. There's no wind right now. Hopefully by tomorrow it's the same situation and we can freaking have some fun on the lake. We'll see what we do. But I got my backyard all straightened out. That's freaking awesome. Don't need to mow yet. Probably gonna need to mow by around Wednesday, Thursday-ish. Grass isn't too bad. This thing would just waste time doing it. So uh, we'll go from there. I ordered the carb for the Mantis already because like I said, $12 for a carb or $11 for a rebuild kit. Let's just replace the damn carb and be done with it. 
And I might till that area over yonder and just get it over with because why bother, right? Makes more sense that way. So as for fasting for today, I decided not to. Like I said, I was super sore. Everything hurt and I was like, yeah, I need protein. I can't do this. Yesterday's workout was pretty brutal and I was like, yeah, not gonna happen. So I uh, went to the store, bought a steak, ate a steak and uh, here we are. Also on Amazon, I found that you can buy metal replacement reels for uh, hexagon based shitty reel sets. So they're about $11 a piece. I'm gonna order one of those up for the uh, telescopic casting rod, you know, until that thing snaps. <laughs> and at that point there, I'll rock the little Zebcos until they snap too, because uh, why the frig not? Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down here. This video is long. Let me know what you think of these long bomber videos. I've been making a couple doozies lately because I only put up three a week. And I figured, you know what? I'll just put up three a week, make them long. That way there's a lot of content and maybe people will be happy. But let me know what you think, if you like it or not. I might go down to a video every other day. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Kind of enjoying this three videos a week thing, but we'll see what we do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Let me know what you think of the long videos. Let me know what you think of the work that was done in the backyard. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, live it to win it and peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.